customer uh, is going to install some 18 Sierra Mani units today. So um, here's just the equipment. We're walking out here through the garage. Here's the garage access. So we got to get the garage door down, got to get the attic uh, open, get the air handler in. Here's the air handle that's going to actually go in the attic. Uh, the main thing I'm going to talk to you about this morning is access. So we walk out the garage door. And here's what you got for access. I don't know if you can really tell this, people. But you've only got maybe four inches on the left-hand side and four inches on the right-hand side. Okay. And also, I want you to look overhead. You see the soffit? So what happens is that hot air blows up it's going to hit that soffit vent. The air is going to bounce back down. In the meantime, the fan is trying to pull cool air from the sides to condense the hot gas into a liquid. So this compressor is going to stay here and it's going to run high amps. And it's going to run a high head pressure because it can't dissipate the heat very well. So we have very limited minimum access. We generally want to try to put our units about 12 to 18 inches off the wall and make sure the other three sides are total curved when we have to put it on a wall of a house like this. So we're going to walk over here. So we're going to relocate this air handler today. Excuse me, condenser. This is your amount of condenser we're actually going to set. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take this. He has already taken the unit. He's leveled it out. And this is where we're going to set the new condenser. It's going to be set on a hurricane pad rated at 150 mile an hour winds and as you see to my right and to my left and to my front you have three sides of clearance for air to move so the natural convection currents will take the heated air away from the unit and carry it out of the air. Also if you look once that thing's set we'll be a little bit past the soffit of the roof. So that way the hot air doesn't bounce up and comes right back down to the condenser. This will be a proper install folks. So I'm going to set this condenser on this pad, trim the bushes back, and this will be a good install. We're going to actually add a new line set. And we're going to move that condensate line over up down the wall about uh, 18 inches and move it out 12 inches away from the wall. If you ever have any questions or any concerns about access high head pressures, how to set a condenser, please give Jones Air Conditioning and Electrical call, 239-596-5855.